Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Zero Work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to limit the number of actions that your taskboard is taking per run. For example, you may be sending some messages to your profiles, but the platform that you are automating um, is blocking your account if you send more than 50 messages per day. So in this video, you learn how to make sure that your taskboard is not sending more than 50 messages. In this specific example, I'm going to limit the number of profiles that the taskboard is visiting per day. For that, I'm using an example of LinkedIn, and LinkedIn indeed restricts the number of profiles that you can visit per day, depending on your profile, whether it's premium or not. All right, so let's get started. This is a taskboard that we've built over the last few videos, and I've deactivated most of the building blocks right here, which are performing actions on the profile which is visited, because they're not really relevant for this video. We're going to focus on the loop that iterates over the profiles here, opens the profile link, and then we're going to keep a track of the number of profiles that is visited. For that, let's start by creating a variable. So variables are tempo temporary values uh, that can change and be updated dynamically during your run. This is perfect for keeping a track of a counter. All right, so let's create a variable and let's just uh, call it counter, profile visit counter really. And every time the taskbot visits a profile, it should update that variable uh, to plus one. So let's move these building blocks over here and add a new building block update data. Here we're going to select plus, so we're going to add one to that variable. And let's also select the right variable right here. What this will do is that on every profile visit, Taskboard is going to add one to the counter. And now we only need to ensure that the Taskboard is not going to be visiting any profile as long as the number is higher to the limit that we want to impose. So let's add a condition here. Let's grab start condition. And the reference in this case is going to be variables counter. And now we need to add set condition. And so in this case, we're going to say whenever uh, this counter um, is less than, than three, then we're going to continue. So if it's zero, then all good. If one, all good, two, all good. But once it reaches three, then uh, we don't want to open that profile anymore. Also, what we need here is to break the, uh, the loop, because what we want to avoid is that the taskboard keeps iterating over the rows. We have a data table of just 50 profiles. It's not a big deal, but if you have a table with uh, maybe uh, 1000 profiles, uh, that would run longer for no reason. That's why as soon as that condition is reached, so as soon as we see that, um, that the counter equals three, then we're going to break repeat. Break repeat just means that this loop here will be, um, will be terminated. One more thing that I need to do is that I need to remove my repetition limit from here so that we can make sure that the taskbot stops the loop because it reaches the counter limit, not because there is a repetition limit. Okay, so this is the first profile being opened. Next profile. Okay, now let's check the counter. As you can see, the counter is now at three. Uh, the taskbot visited three profiles. And however, note that if I now run the taskbot, it will immediately stop. It didn't open any profile. 
Why is that? That's because the variable is right now at 3, so the limit is already there. In other words, you need to set the limit back to 0 on your taskbot start. So let's add update data right here. So on every bot run start, it's going to be set equal 0. Alright, so this is how you can limit the number of actions per run.